with mangoes, I guess. You may remember that last week, Marisa and I were gently sailing into Mandelo Bay. Winds were gentle, seas calm, and a view spectacular. There was one downside though to this wonderful day. My mainsail would just not come down. The halyard was stuck and stuck good. My friend Dave had come over to help cut the line. And then Marisi and I anchored Calopan safely in our usual spot. The port is getting busier. This is a new ferry transport vessel for the islands. And let me tell you, it's real impressive when it maneuvers in and out near me and Galapa. The next day, the winds calmed and I moved into the marina. My friends Peter and Thomas offered me their berth while they were away sailing for a couple of weeks. It was perfect calm and secure, and holiday time had started in Mandelo. There are many Cape Verdean tourists from America, France, Italy, and other places here on vacation. The floating bar was full almost every night playing live music and DJ sets, and me and Galapin had front row seats. As well, several friends would come by and visit, new and old, like Lucas here. Lucas is here, and uh, great to see him. He's been back in Denmark and say, yay, Denmark, man, they went far in the <laughs> Euro yeah, Cup and cool, stuff yeah. like that. And look, he's got new hair, new girlfriend, and I just traded him my uh, two <laughs> kids' life jackets for uh, for 6,000 of scoodles. Because he's got clients and they can afford it. And I need to buy a new battery and I'm running out of money, so. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Thanks, Alex. How's business going and stuff? Uh, slowly, slowly, but uh, we're just going to Tarafalma Krieger right now. Uh, the family want to film something over there and then eat some good mangoes, I guess. Yeah, it's mango season, yeah. so it's going to be nice. It's too fucking hot in here. We need to get in the water and uh, need to catch some fish. You coming back to Mindelo after this or you going to back to I south? I think on Friday I will pass by, but just for uh, half a day or something and then some of them are flying back. Some of them are sailing with me to San Nicolau, I guess. But okay. Not a hundred percent sure yet. All right. Yeah. We'll hopefully, see each other again soon, man. Great. Say hi to David too. I will. I will see him. <laughs> and my friend Sarney from the Bias Ferry boat had been looking for me. And then there's this new friend aboard his odd boat. So, uh, Sean, what do you think of Cape Verde, man? Love the place. Best place here, I'm telling you. Best island I've ever been to. Yeah. And I'll be back very soon. So where are you going? I'm going, but I'll be back in about three weeks. Yeah, but where are you going? Uh, I'm off to Tenerife, and then back up to Spain. In this boat. Dream. What kind of boat is this? It's, this was a, a Dutch canal boat. Originally a Dutch canal boat, modified for the sea. Nice, man. Yeah. So why are you coming back here? What's so good about it? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> nothing not to like. <laughs> it's the best place to be. I'm telling you, cheap, nice area, nice food, lovely views, good weather. What more do you need? Well, I don't know. I heard the women here are not so so nice. <laughs> no, they're not, they're better than good, mate. <laughs> oh, living, it, living the dream, bud. Yes, Sean sailed this boat from Europe, and he's sailing back, but just to the Canaries. Then he'll fly to England, and hurry back here. Finally, there's Karin from Antigua. He's been in Marbella, Spain for the past two years working on a luxury yacht. Karin is a pro skipper. His family bought this boat in Spain and he's taken it to Antigua in the Caribbean. He sailed it solo here from the Canaries. Now he's also friends with Alec, Peter's son. They knew each other in Colonia, British Columbia about 15 years ago. 
The sailing world is a small world indeed. So they got in contact and Karen invited Alec to sail with him across the Atlantic. Karen only stayed here a week, but he'd sailed here before. He's an accomplished skipper. We hung out a bit, and I lent him some tools, and Peter helped them with some electronic issues. Now you'll be fine, don't worry. Now they're doing some final checkups and preparations. It was Alec's first time up there. He had to thread a line from top to bottom. But Alec is a man of courage. He did just fine. And Karen, he's just Caribbean cool, man. 10, 15 years later, here we are. It's, it's a small ready. world. This is crazy, you know. Small, small world people, but we still want to love, you know what I mean? Oh, exactly. Still love, exactly. Right? Yeah. And so what are you guys about to do? Go for a sail, get some sailing, you know? Put some sailing in Cape Verde, you know, just have a little fun on the ocean, skip, you know? I think. Yeah, get up there. <laughs> get up there and be somebody. <laughs> but I don't, I'm not ready to go home yet, so I, I think get some sailing in before okay. I go. I don't blame you, man. Look outside, Trying. it's beautiful. Oh, the wind man. is blowing. We're on a beautiful boat, you know? It's fun. This is it. Yes. <laughs> It was great to hang out with him. Too bad it was so short. Since I was at the marina and it's calmer here, I asked Peter if he could help me with my halyard. What he found out up there was that one of the pulleys broke and that's why the halyard got stuck. On the way down, he fixed the lazy bag. But we needed to replace a pulley. So Peter suggested we look at some spare pulleys I had on board as a possible replacement. Then he'll go back up on a mast another day to see if it'll work. Maybe. <laughs> Meanwhile, I coaxed Alec to come out and have a drink with us before going. Wendy joined us with her son Claudia, and the music was simply great. A little later and into the night, he invited Mauricia to come. Her and Alec are also great friends and they wanted to say goodbye properly. We ended up on Galapan for some more music, drinks, and dancing. And the next day, the two old friends and new crewmates set off across the ocean. Peter came by and went up on the mast again. But we were foiled. The spare pulley did not work. It was too big. So we called Alex, who took us to his man and his machines, to make us two new pulleys. It's August, and like I said, there are a lot of foreign Cape Verdeans in town for the holidays. I mean, look at this. These are foreign Cape Verdeans tearing up the bay. Good for them. Mindelo is living it up. It was also the inauguration of the Mansa Floating Music Hub. It's a project backed by musician, producer, Akon. He was present for the celebrations as well as a host of international celebrities. We were not invited, but Peter and Lily and their friend Linda invited me to go to the trendy local nightclub, Martini Sunset. Hey, why not? About two in the morning, we went back to the boats, but in the parking lot near us was this. A big meaning place for friends. And as you can see, we are with friends. <laughs> this is something new for Mindelo. 
I was told this apparatus was purchased by a rich Malian producer, who is also behind a recording studio with Akon. They are investing in the arts and culture, as well as this odd flying machine here in Mindelo. A few days later, it was gray and drizzling rain, and Peter was back on top of the mass with two new pulleys tooled out of Teflon for the cost of just 12 bucks a piece. It took him about 45 minutes up there, not an easy chore. Man, he was brave and insistent. But he did it, and I thanked him with all my heart. He's been my Saint Peter. Well, Peter did an amazing job. He was up there, changed the pulleys. Thank Saint Peter. I was actually praying to Saint Peter that everything went well up there. Um, but now I've uh, threaded the new halyard and uh, replaced the old one that I thought that would work better because it was a bit smaller, but it was five meters too short, so. It didn't work out. It was perfect. And just tie it up to my um, mainsail. We want to go out, test it out tomorrow, go for a little short sail and test it out. So, another problem resolved. Thanks to great friends. Good guys that know how to fix things and how to make uh, parts that don't exist or you can't buy. So again, thank you to Alex and his connections at the um, at the guy who has a lathe and made, the, made the, the pieces. Look what I found at the bottom of the ocean here. While Peter was going up on the mast, the bosom chair snagged on this light uh, cover and it fell off. And I thought, well, well, it's a little bit broken here. No big deal. So I went to, uh, I went to look for it. It's about four to five meters deep here, so it's not that deep. A little murky, but uh, after the fourth try, fifth try was the, was the one, and I got this, man. This is awesome. So I can't walk really well because of my injury, but I can still swim, I can still dive. Yeah, baby. Volviendo loco en mi mente, yo no sé lo que pasó. Cuéntame, porque el corazón me robó. It was great to have you along on this voyage. If you enjoyed your trip, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. You'll really help us navigate better. Me and my boat, Galapan, promise you a good time every Wednesday. So welcome aboard. Ya hasta que me olvide, saca la voz.